Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and you are watching the AG Office Project. The series where I document my journey from start to finish, renovating and decorating Team AG's new headquarters. Woohoo! <laughs> I need to take a step back -aroni. It's actually 95% chaos. <laughs> Just being real over here. Love it. <gasps> okay, let's get started. In today's episode, we are tackling designing and installing the studio's brand new kitchen. So exciting. I have never designed a kitchen from scratch. I've worked with clients who have and kind of been with them through the process, but I really wanted to document what this process was like because Ikea quite literally has the tools and the services to design and then execute the kitchen of your dreams. And as you guys can see in the before shots, this studio did not have a kitchen. It had plumbing so we could install a sink. But other than that, it's a complete blank slate and I'm nervous because this is a huge project to tackle, but I'm really excited to have Ikea on board. They are partnering with me on this video and we are gonna work together to create the dreamiest kitchen for the Team AG HQ. We drink a lot of tea here, so we needed a good kitchen to boil our water. We needed a good kitchen. Okay, so in episode one, if you guys haven't watched that, make sure you click the link up here. Start from the beginning. The beginning's like really fun. If you wanna start from the beginning, beginning, I dedicated a whole episode to how I'm decorating this space. But in the previous episode, we demoed this studio, we painted it, so it's looking, it's looking good. Now, you guys will notice that there's still a blank slate to where the kitchen needs to go. This was my original inspo for the kitchen. I really wanted something different and fun. I was thinking green, like sagey green cabinets, a pink wall, maybe some gold pendants. And I thought that it was gonna be kind of an L shape, but it turns out that it actually makes more sense to maximize that entire back wall and make that kind of like a galley kitchen. One of the really cool features about this wall is that I realized that there was a window behind this wall. So it was all boarded up and I was like, no, we need this window exposed. This window is original, it's so beautiful. It has that kind of like industrial feel that the rest of this space has. And this is the start of what we're working with. So it's day one and we are heading to Ikea to start planning. Now the things that I brought with me were the measurements of the space. I needed to make sure I got precise measurements. And I also brought measurements of the appliances that we were putting in this space, like the fridge and how much counter space I would think I would need in a document. So I had all of the measurements for those things as well. I also did a rough sketch on Procreate over the photo of the existing area of what I thought that I wanted the kitchen to look like. So I had a really good jumping off point when we got to Ikea. Alana and I, are at Ikea, I'm so excited. Today's the day when we plan out the kitchen. So we're meeting with one of their kitchen experts. So I wanted to show you the cabinets we're thinking. So these are green. And the cool thing about these cabinets is that they're made from recycled water bottles, I think, or recycled materials. But I wanted to see them in person. I really like them. And I think it's really gonna warm up the all white of the studio. So let's head to the kitchen planning section. I'm gonna walk you guys through the whole process because it's such an amazing service. They use a special planning software that basically like shows you in 3D what the kitchen's gonna look like. And I really need help figuring out like where cabinets are gonna go, where open shelves are gonna go. And Alana and I can pick all the finishes for the kitchen. How excited are you? So excited. So excited. So Nico is helping us plan this kitchen today and I love this 3D tool that they have. You can actually access this tool at home by yourself. I played around with it before we actually went into Ikea. It's right at the bottom of their homepage. It's called the Ikea home planning tool. And as long as you have the measurements of the space you're working with, you can really have fun and build a 3D version of your dream kitchen, which is really fun. Even if you're like not planning on buying a kitchen, fun tool to play around with. So now we've talked about the measurements, why don't we go into a bit about what you're expecting from the kitchen? Are you looking for more of like a modern or traditional vibe? So we want to go with those green, those like beautiful green oh, cabinets. Yeah. Those <laughs> but I also wanted to talk about like storage and stuff. Definitely. Based off, you know, your feedback, we'll, we'll get like a rough design of the kitchen in the space where the appliances go, stuff like that. And then from cool. there we can delve a little deeper. 
So Nico was using this tool and he first took all of our measurements, created like a floor plan, and then started with just the basics. He was like, what are you looking for in this kitchen? I knew that I needed a really big pantry type cabinet to store all of our gear. So we have a lot of lights, cameras, all of that stuff. And I also wanted storage for things like paper, stationery, office supplies. This space is so open, so we had to get really clever with storage. The thing I love about this process and actually being in Ikea was that we were talking everything through. I could see examples. They're experts. So Nico has done this a million times. He knew which things to flag. He was like, no, that's not gonna work there. Why don't you try this configuration? It was just honestly so fun being there and like having someone who knows what they're doing design my dream space and like watching it come to life in front of my eyes. So we've got everything in place. Now Nico is going to make it all colorful. So I'm gonna show you guys the 3D rendering of what it looks like. It's also my first time seeing it too. <laughs> okay, ready? All right, here we go. Whoa! So fun! That looks so cool. We have this wall of brick right here and it's five and a half inches deep. And the plan was not to put cabinets here, was to just leave it exposed. So the cool thing that Nico has done is actually rendered it for us. So we can see what it's gonna look like without cabinets or with cabinets. Now it's gonna be white brick, but I actually think that looks really beautiful. It kind of adds like another element to it. I don't know, it doesn't look like an eyesore to me. What do you think? I think it looks fine, but is anything gonna go there? I guess that's what we have to think. I really wanted a snack wall, <laughs> personally, but it's gonna be harder to hang stuff on brick. Leaving it blank, I think, is ideal. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. So now it's time to get into like the nitty gritty, actually pick the finishes. And this is my favorite part. We're gonna go into the cabinets and make sure we have all the storage we need. IKEA has like so many options when it comes to kitchen organization. So we need to make sure that it's organized to a T. So let's go from left to right. So we'll start with the pantry. Yeah. So you have lots of options. So you'll see here when I go to the selections, then you have a variety of choices, whether it's shelves or drawers. And you can have drawers on the outside as we have here, or you can actually open the cabinet. Fun. And put more drawers inside. And then he walks me through all the additional things I could add. Finishes like the faucet color or things like handles and knobs. I chose not to go with handles and knobs. I'm bringing my own into this kitchen. Nico, we were thinking for the countertops, we mm -hmm. were thinking they would be quartz. Sure. We haven't picked what we want yet, but... We can have something like this. Okay, we're going to see different countertops, guys. This one's beautiful, but I really think I want to go for a stone. So this is the marble, right? Correct, yeah. Yeah, I like how it's a little bit subtle. Oh, wow, okay. So this is the black with the green. I'm thinking I like the white. So I pulled out these two samples. We have a white, and then this is the one that was over in the, the display, which is a white marble effect. Okay, this is gonna be a hard decision. So this is the white marble effect, and then this is just the white. I feel like the white marble effect is the way to go because our studio is so like white already that I think adding in a bit of detail is gonna be really nice. What do you think? I agree. Okay, so I think it's this one. That was fast. <laughs> and then Nico just mentioned that Ikea has cabinet lighting. Like, do I want cabinet lighting? Of course I want cabinet lighting. One thing I had just planned to do was to buy a microwave, but Ikea just let me know that they have new appliances. And the coolest thing about this microwave is that it's built into the cabinet. So in our rendering, in our plan, we made space for this. And I think it's just gonna look so clean. I was really worried about having a microwave on the counter, but this just like fits seamlessly into the cabinet. So that was super successful. Alana and I are gonna go downstairs to the marketplace and we're gonna grab some plates and cups for the kitchen. And then we're gonna head back to the studio with our plans and just make sure everything fits nicely. We're gonna talk to the contractors there. But yeah, this was so successful. Thank you, Ikea. So it is Friday. It is the day of the kitchen install. The Ikea kitchen assembly team is here and it's time to build this dream kitchen. We have a special guest who's coming to see the studio for the first time. Imagine if I was like, this is it. No. You can't see my mouth, but it's okay. <laughs> Come on in. Oh my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> Isn't it great? Right. Right? Can you believe that like two years ago we were just shooting in my parents' house? <laughs> this is awesome. Do you love it? I love it. Thanks for coming. It makes me so I can't even believe we planned this kitchen and designed it literally a week before and now it's just here being installed. The one, I would say, major, major selling point for me when it comes to IKEA kitchens is that IKEA provides a professional service to install your kitchens. So it's a full service install, which includes building your dream IKEA kitchen from top to bottom, like we did last week, with a sink assembly, faucets, pre-cut countertops, and appliance placement. So the thing I love about the whole process is that I just literally had to go in store, be creative, design my dream kitchen, and then IKEA literally handles all the rest. IKEA Kitchen Assembly is also covered by a five-year workmanship guarantee, and you can also request removal of your old kitchen or bathroom. So that's something I think a lot of people struggle with. IKEA Kitchen Assembly literally comes in and like handles that for you. And if you're like me and don't really, you know, know how to like demo a whole kitchen, don't worry, they've got it sorted. I'm gonna do a reveal for myself. I'm gonna close my eyes. Picture what this kitchen looked like before. No it kitchen. Not <laughs> okay, I'm gonna count me down. Three, two, one. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie, I was really, really nervous about the sage green, but the colors work so well together. It just, it looks so fantastic. Hi friends. I don't even know what day of this makeover it is, but it is a Monday and Alana and I just got a notification that the fridge has been delivered. So it's arrived at the studio. What's hilarious is that it doesn't feel that heavy. So we're gonna attempt to bring it up the stairs ourselves. Remember what happened last time? What step does this fall down the stairs? We stuck. <laughs> Wish us luck. This is like us in a nutshell. I agree because what I didn't tell you is that our contractors are actually going to bring this up for us but they're not here today so we're like we'll just do it because we really want to see the fridge in the space. I'll tip it over on that side. Okay. Pivot. We did it. Okay, you guys, moment of truth. We're pushing the fridge in. It's so, so good. Like, it's just, it's just so good. I'm obsessed. even know what of this kitchen makeover. I'm sorry, James. You probably have so much footage to edit. The IKEA guys are back today installing the countertops. We were gonna go for a quartz countertop and last minute I changed my mind and I'm so glad I did because the space is so cold, like it's so white, which I love. I love like bright, white, airy spaces. But the countertops are like white and stone and the fridge is an off-white. So Ikea has a really beautiful herringbone butcher block and this space definitely needs some warmth. So I'm thinking that the wood will really help with that. And I feel like this is just how renos go. You know, you have to like actually be in the space, see things unfold, make adjustments. We're also gonna get the sink installed today, which is really exciting. It's all happening. It's all, it's all happening in the kitchen. Jeremiah is coming by. He's from Manual Arts. He's been helping us 
kind of put the finishing touches on this space. He has cut a custom piece of wood for us and this is a shelf that's gonna go along the window. At first, I was like, why would we put a shelf across the window? But I wanna put tons of beautiful mugs and glassware and stuff. That's the heater. It makes me look like I'm in like a Beyonce music video. So Jeremiah has cut the piece of wood down. He did this really cool thing called planing. Because the wall kind of bows inwards, he cut the side of the wood to like fit perfectly against the wall and then I'm going to stain it. Yes. Yay. Yay. Now I'm gonna stain it. I'm staining it English chestnut. It's pine though, so it's not gonna look as dark as another kind of wood would be if it was stained with this color, but I think it's gonna look, I think it's gonna look good. Guys, I love this color. It looks almost like a little bit kind of rusted. The shelf is up and it looks so good. Okay guys, it's a brand new day. It's a really good day because I'm going to be styling the whole kitchen, pulling it together, and then I get to see it completed. So a couple things that I've put in because I couldn't help myself. This beautiful bar cart behind me filled with Alana's beautiful glassware that she's collected. So thank you Alana for donating these to Team AG. And there's a light above me. This incredible pendant light slash chandelier from Mitzi. It just makes me happy. Like it just makes me so, so happy. And it brings light into this space, but it's warm and just a beautiful decorative moment. So now the first thing I'm gonna do today is put these beautiful gold knobs on the drawers and the cabinet fronts. I found these on Etsy. They were such a good find and just like so different and really makes this kitchen come to life. I just wanted to mention that these cabinets are being used to hold all of our DIY supplies. So in here we have like our paint and our glue gun and all of that. So I'm really happy we have lots of clothes storage in here. So now it's time to bring in a gorgeous harvest table. I knew I wanted a harvest table for this space. One that we could DIY on, eat on as a team. I can't wait to have team lunches and team dinners here. Not that I'm gonna make my employees work late, but like, if there's one night where we all have pizza, like how fun is that? I know. Article donated this table. Thank you, Article. You've been so generous to donate so many things for this office space. You guys know I'm like a broken record, but I love Article. These are pieces that are gonna last you forever and that you can take with you space to space. We have a harvest table. Now obviously we need chairs, and the chairs I'm bringing in, I actually saw these chairs months and months ago, and I knew that I wanted them in the studio. So Casta Chic, one of my most favorite retailers in Toronto, sent these to me. They're so beautiful. They'll be linked down below. I always talk about Casta Chic because they offer amazing boho furniture. These chairs people. Also on the top, I'm placing these H&M pom-pom cushions. You guys always ask me about these because I have them in my home as well. They're from H&M Home. They go in and out of stock, but I was lucky to score four. So I've got all my styling necessities here. So many fun things, like these gorgeous plates from Indigo from the Wii collection. So I've been collecting this stuff over a period of time and it's finally time, you guys, to get this stuff on the shelf. We're almost done, we're almost there. I'm gonna hang this bagels, 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 bagels print up here. And now, the moment has come. It's time for those final finishing touches that always just bring a space together. You guys, this kitchen is now complete. I can't even believe it. I am so excited. Let's take a look at what this kitchen looked like before. There was literally nothing here. We built this all from the ground up. Let's take a look. And then it'll go bam, 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 bam.
guys have it. Another episode of the AG Office Project in the bag. Thank you so much to Ikea for partnering with me on this video and making my dream kitchen come to life. I am so excited to wake up every day, make my tea in this kitchen. Next week, we're conquering the office part of this whole studio. We might be doing a floor to almost ceiling calendar, possibly perhaps. So make sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss it. And as always, I really have to pee so badly. You know, when you're just like, like, you've been holding it for so long and then you're like, I have to pee. That's me. Say <laughs> Bye. <laughs>